Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm here today to talk about Mustafa Suef and the article we recently read, Mustafa Suef, an intellectual portrait of the father of Arab clinical psychology. Born in 1924 in Cairo, Egypt, Mustafa Suef is an Egyptian psychologist who has largely expanded understandings of psychology both in Egypt and around the world. Through his works in both philosophy and clinical psychology, Suef challenges traditional notions of psychology as an isolated discipline or single set of truths. When talking about Suef's approach and understanding of psychology, the author of the article states, Psychology, being a discipline that lies at the interface between social and biological sciences, may be better advised to act on a paradigm of its own. This quote exemplifies how Suef views psychology as a unique, interactive, and applicable way of thinking and understanding the world. Suef's work in education were not originally focused on psychology and its principles. Instead, Suref's early academic career was mainly focused on philosophy. In 1945, Suef earned his bachelor's degree in philosophy from Cairo University. Suef went on to earn his master's in 1949 and began his teaching career in 1950 as a philosopher. Continuing his philosophical career, Suef even earned his PhD in philosophy in 1954. But even though Suef's early work focused on philosophy, his writings and research still reflected his ideas about psychology as an interactive and unique framework for understanding the world. When earning his bachelor's in philosophy, Suef was encouraged by his professor, Yusuf Murad, to begin using psychology as a lens for understanding and studying philosophy. Based on his professor's advice, Suef began to use psychology as a framework for his studies of philosophy while earning his master's and graduate degrees. Suef began to integrate psychological frameworks into his studies of philosophy in his master's thesis, The Psychology of Creativity in the Arts with Special Reference to Poetry, in 1949. Through this work, Suef demonstrated how psychology can be used as an interactive framework for analyzing and understanding creativity and poetry specifically. Suef continued his study of philosophy from a psychological perspective in his PhD dissertation, The Principles of Psychosocial Integration with Special Reference to the Development of Social Responses in Infants and Children. Within this work, Suef showed how the psychological concept of psychosocial integration or the interactive relationship between an individual and society can be used to develop an understanding of a child's development within an Arabic society. For 30 years, Suef continued to examine creativity from a psychological perspective with his students. But after his PhD dissertation, Suef's main focus began to transition away from philosophy and toward more clinical and cultural psychology. Suef's transition to a more clinical and cultural approach to psychology began in 1957 when he received his degree in clinical psychology from London University. After earning this degree, Suef became especially interested in the application of clinical psychology to Egyptian society. Academically, Suef's increased focus on clinical psychology led him to become the first chairman of the psychology department at Cairo University in 1974, where he still serves as a professor emeritus today. But beyond the classroom, Suef's interest in clinical psychology led him to pursue new areas of research. Most notably, Suef began to apply his psychological frameworks to topics of drug dependence as they related specifically to Egyptian society. During the 1950s and 1960s, cannabis was the most prevalent drug in Egyptian society. 
Based on the prevalence of cannabis use in Egypt, Suev focused a lot of his research on understanding different facets of cannabis use through a psychological lens, with the goal of using this research to benefit Egyptian society. Suev's drug dependence efforts led him to investigate factors of cannabis use, such as its long-term effects on memory and the relationship between cannabis and the use of other drugs, like opium. But, Suev's work in drug dependence was not limited to just research for his own knowledge. Instead, reflecting his view of psychology as an interactive and applicable science, Suev has actively used his own knowledge to benefit others. For one, Suev founded the journal National Review of Drug Abuse and Dependency to allow his own findings and the findings of others in this area to inform and expand future understandings of drug dependence. Also, beyond just expanding scientific understandings, Suif established the Cannabis Consumption Program in 1957, which focused on educating the Egyptian public about the effects of cannabis use while simultaneously engaging in scientific research on the topic. Further reflecting Suef's view of psychology as an integrative and collaborative way of understanding the world, Suef's efforts and research on drug dependence evolved with Egyptian society. As cannabis use decreased in Egypt, Suef transformed the focus of the cannabis consumption program to more broad drug dependence efforts and research by replacing it with the Standing Project on Drug Abuse in 1975. Overall, Suf's research on drug dependence was widely recognized both in Egypt and around the world. Suf was an advisor to the Egyptian Ministry of Health for three decades and a World Health Organization expert for drug dependence for two and a half decades. However, Suf's use of psychology to improve society was not solely isolated to drug dependence. Suif also used his ideas to challenge and transform principles of psychology in general. In recent years, Suif has become particularly interested in defining and transforming views towards psychology in general to be less limited and more culturally inclusive. In his recent writings, such as Defining Psychological Concepts, a borderline problem between psychology and philosophy, Suif challenges the traditional operationalism of psychological principles, which suggests that the whole is simply a sum of its parts. Instead, Suif utilizes his ideas of psychology as a lens towards understanding and bettering the world to suggest that psychology may occupy a more flexible and integrative space than traditionally hard sciences such as physics and biology. One way Suif has challenged traditional notions of psychology is by developing and advocating for more culturally inclusive psychological concepts, such as psychological fitness. According to Suif, psychological fitness is a comprehensive and culture fair concept to replace the traditional terms psychological and mental health. Psychological fitness consists of a group of interactive functions such as planning versus impulsivity, autonomy versus conformity, and consistency versus dissonance that together explain an individual's level of functioning. According to Suev, the combination of these functions and their influence on the individual may differ based on the cultural context. Therefore, through psychological fitness, Suif challenges traditional westernized notions towards well-being and advocates for a more adaptable and culturally inclusive framework of psychology. Beyond advocating for a more culturally inclusive psychological terms in general, Suif has also challenged traditional cultural norms in psychology by focusing specifically on how clinical psychology is best practiced in Egyptian cultural spaces. In his works published in 2001, Both Clinical Psychology and Practicing Clinical Psychology in the Egyptian Cultural Context, Some Practical Experiences, Suif argues against the simple acceptance of Western-based clinical psychological principles and instead focuses on how previous psychological practices may be best adapted to fit the Egyptian cultural space. 
By challenging both the underlying construction and norms of psychology, Suif transforms understandings of psychology from a standardized science to an applicable and adaptable lens towards understanding the world. Ultimately, his works in clinical and theoretical psychology exemplify the widespread impact that an applicable and adaptable approach to psychology can have on a society by improving both educational and societal knowledge. Based on Suef's transformative ideas towards psychology, I propose the following questions for consideration. 1. How does Suef challenge traditional cultural norms in psychology? 2. Is it more important for psychology to be viewed as a hard science or to exist in more applicable and flexible ways? And 3. How can psychology provide a lens or framework for understanding the world? Thank you all for listening.